Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homesteading, and it's time for the uh, mid-size, <laughs> mid-size indoor grow tent update. And uh, I'm pretty excited about what's going on in here. Uh, let me grab the camera, and we'll take a little tour. I got my safety goggles here. I'm going to put those on, so that way uh, you guys can see the progress from last week. All right, well, that gourmet lettuce blend and the uh, the DMR, where they have really taken off and got some nice size on them. So these are going to be after I do the harvest for this week in the uh, salad bar LED grow area with the pull-out tray, I'm going to be moving this tray and this tray into there. And then I'm also going to be moving up some of these beta salad mixes because in the last week, you can see there's been quite a bit of growth on these. And that's good. <laughs> the first cut here, I think I'll leave it one more week for the, uh, the original salad cut you know, cut and come again that I did. So, but it's got a lot, you know, growing up here. I could probably go ahead and harvest that if I wanted to. I think I'll give it one more week. And then down here, we've got this beta salad mix. And I rotated the tray so that way, this was over here underneath this light. And this side was over here towards the wall. So I've been turning these trays. I came through and I turned and rotated some of these trays and I've been moving them around. Because I noticed there is, you know, dead spots. Like in between here, you're not going to get you know much growth because you're only getting the light reflecting on the side over here and the side over here so then you got the middle of the tray that kind of you know doesn't get a lot of light so i've been rotating the trays around to give them different places so that way that you know every tray gets a certain amount of light there's another beta salad mix that's you know coming along so i figure next week i'll be moving a couple of these beta salad mix trays into the harvest area and then of course you know these uh the dmr and the gourmet are going to come back into here after their first cut and so they'll be you know doing their their, their first cut coming through and then to be tagged and last week i said in the video that on the betas that i harvested i was going to go dump them on the compost heap but i went ahead and put them in here as a first cut just to see how fastly fast they would come back and you can see there's a lot of a lot of new growth coming up in there so i think i'm able to you know take those for a second cut and then you know after after that after this next cut for the second cut I'll probably dump those because those are the ones that didn't have the bone meal and uh, you know the azomite rock dust and stuff like that added into the fertilizer so they're they're not as vigorous as these other ones I mean you can tell these things once they start growing they're really taking off and so I'm I'm pretty happy with that that's going to give you know that one tray that's a that's probably a meal at its current state for Paula and I. So that'd be, you know, maybe two two salads worth. So that's pretty good. Then the arugula, you know, there's the arugula down there that we planted. It's coming up nice. I mean, you can see there's a lot of a lot of the true leaves are coming out. So it's going to be getting pretty vigorous in the next, uh, you know, next week. I did pick a few of these off that had, you know, the tops ready, and then threw that into a salad, and it's really, really a nice pungent uh, arugula. Then there's the uh, Yankee Hardy lettuce blend. You can see it's coming up nicely. So we'll be able to harvest that in maybe another two weeks. Put that into our rotation. But with what we've got going on in this tent, it looks like you know we've got quite enough, you know, quite a bit to where we can actually start harvesting off every week our salads and just rotating these trays. And then as I dump, like after I get that next cut off of those those two trays down there, then I'll be seeding new trays. I'm definitely going to be doing one of them as a gourmet lettuce blend. And I'll rotate between the gourmet and the DMR because these, off these two trays, we'll probably get you know at least three to four salads for our dinner salads, you know, actual meal salads out of those trays. I mean, we don't overeat and like you know stuff ourselves with you know tons of greens, but uh, you know you mix in that with uh, you know a little blackened chicken or maybe some steak, you know, sliced up, put on top of the salad. You know, a flank steak or something like that that Paula makes. <laughs> I'm not a cook, so <laughs> that's definitely all her. But she does love having these greens down here. So that's kind of the update for the, uh, the mid-sized tent. All right, this has been Brian from PNB Homesteading. I'm pretty excited about uh, seeing the progress in these tents because it's uh, it's exciting to be able to grow a lot of your own you know vegetables, even during the fall and the winter. And you know the thing nice about this, as you saw in uh, the kind of walk around the homestead backyard this week uh, there's a lot of you know bug pressure and you know they're out there eating on the salad greens now 
and they're munching it away and uh, you got to keep on that pest pressure but inside when you're doing this kind of growing no pest pressure there there's nothing in here that's uh, eating on my lettuce I get all of it for myself and most of the time when I harvest this we don't even wash it because it comes out clean so it's great they do <laughs> all right guys I'll talk to you again this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading all right bye <laughs>